Welcome to First Trinity Unity Community Church of the United States. How can we feed you today? Hi, I'd like a 25-minute sermon and some upbeat worship music, please. Nothing too crazy, though. And I don't like to stand until the very end. Certainly. Please drive forward. Have a blessed day. No standing until the end, right? Of course not, sir. Here at FT. CCUSA. We get your order right the first time, every time, all the time, and on time until the end of time. Have a blessed day. Welcome to First Trinity Unity Community Church of the United States. How can we feed you today? Who's teaching? Pastor Wilkes. No, I'm not so crazy about him. Oh, I, I meant, uh, Pastor Johnson, of course. Sorry for the mix-up. That's more like it. Now look, I don't want any of that Old Testament business today. I want to focus on the New Testament. Well, of course, sir. The Old Testament God is me. I mean, he is a lot happier now, so let's focus on the present. Certainly. I want some creative illustrations. I want to laugh a little bit, but not too much. I want my communion crackers broken for me. With 100%, with 100% natural grape juice. I know that stuff last week from Ken. You think that's honoring to God? No, sir. Of course not. I didn't think so. And I want to feel encouraged and uplifted and affirmed this week. And look, I want some healing for my bunion. And I don't want to be challenged too much. Just a little bit, okay? Because I'm challenged enough during work. Certainly. This is a safe place. A happy place. Place. I'd be a lot happier if you, had, if you had something in the fifth row or so. Certainly. That's what I'm talking about. Have a blessed day. Paul said the Holy Spirit tells us clearly that in the last days some will turn away from their faith. They'll follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons. These people are hypocrites and liars and their consciences are dead. Paul said there is going to come the preaching of another gospel. And they're going to invent another Jesus. It's not the Jesus I preach to you. It's not the Christ that I know. There is creeping now into even some evangelical churches. This new gospel of accommodation and tolerance. It's a Christ that they have invented in their own minds and these are educated people and it sounds, it sounds good because it talks about, a, a, they say the real Jesus, a Jesus of compassion and love and, and folks, I, I'll stand here and tell you now, I've spent 50 years in compassion and love. This church has been a compassionate church. We've cared for the poor and the needy. And, and we have taken care of orphans and widows. But this new gospel of tolerance is, 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 no, 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 Jesus Christ is such a loving man now. And it is the endorsement of homosexuality, dialogue with Islam, to find out how this Christ that we are introducing, this Christ that we believe in, we can have a common denominator. In other words, that Jesus will fit any religion. No, folks, we serve Christ. There can be no giving in. We cannot be entangled in these. There's a new gospel now called the transference of wealth. The most damnable doctrine ever been created in hell that God is going to give all the wealth of nations now to individuals who have the faith. I've heard businessmen try to tell me that this was the new thing. Let me read it. Even if an angel from heaven preached any other gospel to you than what I've preached to you, let him be accursed. Folks, I'm satisfied with the gospel that Paul preached. I'm satisfied with the Christ that he preached. Paul says, do not be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Jesus.